What's going on everybody? Welcome to the vlog. I currently can't see shit. Uh, it is finally spring. And you know what that means? Allergy season is in full force. And with that said, I am congested as shit. So if I'm sounding incredibly nasally or congested or sick, yes to all the above. And as a majority of you awesome frequent followers could have probably imagined by now, I am on my way to work. all the time I don't know if you guys can see it but the girl behind me is taking photos of the truck be back in a snap wouldn't it be nice if in the snap of a finger we could expedite through things now I was just kind of thinking about that when I did that quick takeaway and went into work there are so many things that I would speed through absolutely one would be going to Walmart two would be grocery shopping at Walmart or not at Walmart three would be the gym probably sometimes Four would absolutely be the morning routine. Five would definitely be work. There's probably another long, long list of things. Another one that pops into my mind is washing the truck in the wintertime. Because we all know you gotta keep the vehicles clean, but when you're freezing your hands off, there's nothing but painful pleasure that comes out of that entire experience. All right, now to make a quick stop to Lowe's because the fiance insists that we need to do some landscaping on our rental property. <music> Is that an Air Force issued Camaro? Damn, didn't even know that they made those things. So to start off, generally in the diesel community, you have an overall profound respect for all other diesel enthusiasts, whether it's a lower truck, a level truck, or a lifted truck. But when you go to 22 by 14s, you realize the level of commitment that you're now holding yourself accountable to because of the overall challenges that are associated with this wheel size. Your truck is gonna be permanently filthy, no matter what. You're gonna pick up any sort of road dirt, grime, gum, tar, whatever it might be. It's unavoidable. At times, driving around in my 2015 2500 HD Duramax, I find myself swerving to miss the tiniest puddles. Why? Because these trucks are big, guys. They're a pain to wash. It takes time, so once you make that investment, obviously you want to try and keep it clean. Well, if you accidentally hit a tiny puddle, you could say goodbye to that. So traditionally speaking, guys, you're typically going to get out of your truck, and whenever you go in somewhere, you're going to walk away, and, now, and you're going to walk back and take a look. You're like, wow, I did a great job. Well, when you have 14 wides, you're going to get out of your truck, and you're going to give it a complete once over. Because when you have 14 wides, every single angle on the truck looks incredible. So what you want to do is you want to note how from the side, you've got a nice clean facade. And then from the rear, you'll see how bold the truck looks. But then you want to see the driver's side as well, right? Because you can't just give the passenger side some attention without the driver's side. So that's why you really want to give an overall breath of the truck every single time you get out of it because the traditional walk away and look technique will only suffice at times. Now, another thing that you guys need to realize about any wide wheel in general, but especially 14 wides is you're constantly on the lookout for police, right? So some of you might argue, well, I'm already very cognizant of police officers around me and I make sure to pay attention to where I'm driving at any given point in time. Well, kudos to you, but I guarantee it's gonna be even worse with 14 wides. Literally anywhere you go at any given point in time is a huge risk of getting pulled over because trucks like that, police don't care about. Now, for instance, there's usually a cop that sits right there every single day. For me, that means I'm just one step closer to home. 
While we're on the topic of police, what you're gonna learn to do over time running any wide wheel, but specifically a 14 wide, is you're gonna realize that you need to come up with a great elevator speech, right? So whenever you get pulled over, and I'm not saying if, I'm saying when, you're gonna know exactly what to say to make sure you're very smooth, very candid, and very cordial, open and upfront to that police officer. That way you can maybe try and marginalize the chances of getting a ticket. What you'll probably also end up doing eventually is skimming your entire family heritage, your entire family tree, to see if you have relation to any sort of an officer to increase your chances of becoming an FOP member. FOP, for those of you that don't know, is Fraternal Order of Police. And also, to get the white elephant out of the room, I am a member of one. And I'm not going to say that it has gotten me out of tickets, but I'm going to say that I have been in situations, I've referenced that FOP membership, and the outcome was a little bit more favorable. Now, quick disclaimer, I do appreciate everything that our men and women in black and blue do for us, and I know that they have a duty and obligation from a law-abiding perspective to uphold. So, if a ticket is issued, they're doing their job. I can't get mad about that. It's like a game of operation to stay between the lines. You're constantly monitoring the left and the right sides. But the perk is you don't get zapped if you touch either or. Oh shit, was that a cop? You pull into parking lots that have little medians. When you're overly cautious about your right turns. Now, a general rule is whenever you go out and buy a truck is you kind of just don't go through the drive-throughs and anything, whether it's fast food or at the bank. But when you have 14 wides, you completely say goodbye to ever having the opportunity to say hi to those really nice bank tellers. And some of you might know that every inch counts. But when you go to park in a parking lot, you know that you're gonna fit just fine. And what I like about having 14 wides is I'm a lean kind of guy. I like to be as lean and efficient as possible with everything that I do. So this to me is capacity utilization. When you first put 14 wides on your truck, you kind of can't get used to the fact that you always see tire out of your rearview mirror. But over time, when you put your stock wheels back on, you feel like something's missing. To go to my point earlier, trying to stay between the lines in operation, you're kind of like driving a land boat because you want to make sure that you're centered in the lines at any given point in time. And I use the boat comparison because in order to drive a boat straight, you need to turn the wheel. As I sit in traffic, I still continue to recite more and more reasons why 14 wide and also. So another reason is 50% of the people that you engage with about your wheels will absolutely love them. They'll credit you for them. They'll love the way that your truck looks. Then you're gonna get some people, let's just say uh, of, a, of another perspective, that are gonna come out and they're gonna accuse you of ruining your truck. They're gonna accuse you of completely ruining the function of your truck. It's only a form perspective. Well, you know what guys? To those people that are that negative and that pessimistic about my outlook, thank you for expressing your opinion. I get them every single day and you know what I do to them right now? I just completely detune them. So when you get 14 wides, you have to become completely numb to what anybody says because at the end of the day, you should do what you want to do. When you get 14 wides, your tires will sing louder than you sing in the shower. But I'm just going to have to do a little bit of the wind noise until I get to my next destination. But when you get 14 wides, typically people like this will get the hell out of the left lane because they see this big, menacing, and intimidating truck behind them. But this guy will not move. I just passed a cop that pulled somebody over that got into an accident. That's really unfortunate. I'm sorry, buddy. I hope that you are okay. But when you have 14 wides, your paranoia is at an all-time high because you think that although you're driving by and you're probably out of the complete sight and completely out of mind of that officer, that his 14 wide radar is on and he will come down the highway and intercept you. Now listen, I got tons of Dodge friends, but the one thing that I don't get is, although this guy might tow, is he ain't towing right now. Where's your trailer at, dude? Nice moose horns. Just kidding, guys. I would actually probably drive with my moose mirrors up as well, but I did just watch him snap his neck while looking at the truck. So, it is what it is, it's all mutual. Now I do not condone this in any way, shape, or form, but at times, 
you might find yourself hanging out of your window just to see your tire. I also want to get real used to the fact that when you're driving and it's even the slightest bit damp outside, put your windows up and turn your air conditioning on or your heat, one or the other. Don't know why you'd have your windows down if it was cold outside. But anyway, keep those windows up because you don't want to paint the inside of your truck or vehicle with outside road water. You're going to be a little uncomfortable with navigating tight spaces, respectively so, because your truck is so damn wide. So when you approach areas like this, you might find yourself getting out of your vehicle, grabbing a tape measure if you happen to carry one, putting it from point A to point B to see if object C will fit. Trust me, I did it a few times. Now I got kind of used to it because if you can see where my wheel is compared to my tow mirror, I'll bring you on this side, my wheel to my tow mirror, the tow mirror in my favor does stick out a little bit further. So, words of wisdom, get yourself some tow mirrors if you're getting yourself 14 wides. So one of the most common questions is when you meet your friends or your family or whomever it might be, they ask. You get pulled over? See, it's like so much pessimism. Literally every single person that I ever talk to is like. Get pulled over? all the time guys and what you got to realize is and what's kind of in my favor is i'm a little superstitious so that wood grain right there on my truck is what i knock on all the time i did get pulled over but let's go into some details with street speed 717. got mr madman mike over here walking all around dude that that's wide as fuck now have you been pulled over got pulled over for the first time last thursday but dude, you know what you, they've did, had me three times in the last two weeks so i'm like so, I, was, I was this close to going to 14 wides and now I've been pulled over so many times. So I got my buddy Dirty Film, Max filming Jack the film. right here. We are <laughs> vlogging, vlogging we are a vlog. Vlogging our balls Holy off shit. with Dirty Max Jack. And this is his <laughs> super fucking clean Duramax on American Force wheels. Check this fucking thing out. It looks like a giant like crab cooker that you put crab like Some in. kind of crazy spider web. Jesus Christ. That looks awesome though. That is great. I real this truck, man, it makes me want 14 wides. <laughs> Which is exactly what we were you just talking about. Over already. I did. And I over three times in the last two weeks. So what was the result of your, your experiences uh, out of the three? Two of them. One of them, they let me go because they okay. saw I got pulled over just a week ago. Nice. The other one, he didn't get me for tires, but for window tint. The other one was for the tires. It was for the tires. So Same officer? Words, no, different, different guys. Two different departments. Okay. Um, the end result is that I paid roughly 450 bucks <laughs> oh to my God. various police departments in Pe Pennsylvania. For the past month. See so now, now luckily, unlike Mike's situation, I had the pleasure of speaking with a lovely lady that was kind enough to let me off with a verbal warning. That's nice. Yeah. Now I feel like I'm actually sharing that with the world. The karma circle will come full loop. They're like, oh yeah, well secretly, there's Mike, no we way. follow you. I think they do because there's no <laughs> way I drive for a year and a half and never get pulled over once and then three times in two weeks. There's just, the chances of that aren't great. Yeah, you know what's kind of funny is uh, I'm, I'm kind of a superstitious kind of guy. So in the yeah. truck, it's got wood trim, right? It's plastic. Yep. But my big thing is anytime that I say anything regarding any sort of police in, in encounter, right? Knocking on wood. Knocking on the wood. <laughs> his channel if you want to see more on the Duramax build it's obviously looking great but not done well thanks buddy all right guys so all jokes aside I just want you all to realize that I wanted to kind of put together this video as a little bit of a parody because all the feedback that I've gotten on the truck so far has been awesome I've really enjoyed it but a lot of you are uh, questioning this questioning that questioning this questioning that you know what, guys, at the end of the day the beauty about having uh, you know an, an enthusiasm for an automobile is the fact that you can build it however you want to build it. And at the end of the day, it's nobody else's money but your own going into it. So I really appreciate all the good feedback and supportive feedback that I've gotten on this thing so far. I personally love the truck. I just think that um, the GM body style and at least this, this specific iteration of the Chevys is by far one of the cleanest. I actually didn't like the Chevy front ends at all when I first saw them, but then I saw a color matched one back in the 2014 timeframe just before buying this truck that was lifted. It didn't have wide wheels on it, um, but I saw a lot of potential and really my whole approach in modifying a car is um, really just enhancing the overall lines 
of the vehicle, right? Um, most of you probably know Mike's channel, but Street Speed 717 on YouTube. Andy is Diablo Formula Racing on YouTube. And then we've got Max on YouTube as well. So I think Mike and I are going to end up scheduling something at some given point in time. He's a pretty busy guy with all the different shows that he's got going on and uh, kind of his overall schedule. But uh, we will be getting the Duramaxes together and I'm sure that will come up with some amusing content. So uh, for those of you that have been constantly asking about Mike Street Speed 717, there you go, you finally got them and we'll be sure to connect with them again. That said guys, thank you very much for tuning in today. Really appreciate all your support so far. Um, really look forward to bringing more videos at you guys, probably from myself personally, the WRX, and then the whole, I think what they call it, the 717 crew. Um, so if it's your first time tuning into the channel or if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. That's that red button down to the bottom right corner of the video. Make sure you turn that gray as well as like this video. Thank you very much, guys. Have an awesome day. Good job. What do you think, Andy? It works. It sounds fucking good.